Hello to all the suffering addicts and hello to all the people who have found sanity in the recovery lifestyle. In this episode of Stories of Addiction, I'll be talking to Andrea about her addiction and her recovery from addiction. Andrea is a client at the Gulf House Sober Living Environment in Santa Cruz, California. Andrea is 43 years old and has 11 days clean. Congratulations, Andrea, and welcome to the podcast. Thank you. So, Andrea, I'm going to start by asking you, how did your addiction start? Um, my addiction started when it was, it was basically just a party scene type thing, um, and when all my, you know, it was Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, and when all my friends went to work on Monday, I only did that for part <laughs> a little while and ended up, I just couldn't go back to work because I would carry my partying into my weekdays and I just never stopped. So I was different from my friends in that way. That's great. And Andrea... Um, how old were you when you first started your addiction? Um, I was about 23 years old. Um, I was a young mom, 19, and had my first baby, um, married as well. And then about, I don't know, when my first one was one years old, we found out I was pregnant with my second. So they're only 20 months apart. So I had two kids at the age of uh, 21. That's nice. And, um, why do you think he used drugs? Um, well, I'll tell you that I didn't really realize, um, that I had, you know, addiction problems while I was in it the first go around. But, um, now that I've been in program for a while, I realized that it had a lot to do with my upbringing. Um, I was raised by my stepdad and my mom. Um, we were uh, in a church that, you know, was pretty much a cult. And I was unable to have a normal life as the kids did that I went to school with. Um, and it really had an impact on me as far as like my happiness. I was a miserable child as a child. I mean, I, I had fun sometimes, but... Looking back now, it was it, I walked on eggshells. I was just not a normal kid. So I moved out of the house when I was 17. Um, and I ended up, you know, I was working full time while well, the rest of my friends were in college. But I was okay with that because I could not live by my parents' rules anymore. Um, and I ended up getting married very young and um, started, you know, like I said, around 23 when my husband and I got a divorce um, or at least separated. I started meeting new people, of course, and going out. And, you know, I hit the San Francisco party scene pretty hard and um, I got to know a lot of people. So it was real easy to get out there and to party with them and, um, you know, I didn't, it, you know, everything was readily available. So I never had a hard time um, finding a good time. Um, and it just started out with drinking weed, Coke. Um, and then, you know, I got a little bit more hardcore with the methamphetamines and the GHB, Special K, um, a lot of ecstasy. And, uh, for some reason, the meth was something I could not put down. And it really, I'm not going to say it took, but I gave it about eight years of my life from about the age of 23 to 20. It was about uh, maybe actually about 32. So it, it was a while. Um, and I was a daily user. Uh, got to the point where I just couldn't even function without it. And I lost many, many jobs. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a good, I'm a very, very um, uh, dependable employee when I'm sober. But when that that stuff really, really got me, so I was, I was not able to even hold down a job. 